the National Rapid Response Team. And using the available resources, we've also been able to train some sub-national rapid response teams. The idea really being um, actioning the surveillance information that we collect on a regular basis from uh, selected health facilities. Uh, so under the Integrated Disease Surveillance and Response, we collect information on uh, conditions, diseases of public health uh, importance and we get reports on a weekly basis to the national level and that information is used for action at local level as well as for national level. So in terms of the rapid response mechanism that you are talking about, we respond to outbreaks of uh, epidemic prone diseases and the idea is since as we say we cannot stop you know, the occurrence of outbreaks. We are in a dirty environment, the cities are not providing water. We have all the recipes for creation of the outbreaks. So our next best thing is to, to, to create a readiness mechanism. So we just want to make sure that when it happens, we can pick it as early as possible before it spreads, you know, geographically, but also person to person. Uh, and, and put in place, you know, effective management measures. So that's the National Rapid Response uh, Mechanism. It's, it's a complicated uh, season. Traditionally, it also coincides with the uh, Christmas celebration of Holy Day, people traveling a lot. So we have uh, epicenters of typhoid, like in Arare, we have a lot of typhoid carriers. And when they've traveled out, outside, last year we saw that happening, and you're saying we're not prepared. But how do you prevent people from Arare from traveling to their rural home when they are typhoid carriers? So the, the problem is the, pro the, you know, the typhoid has already been allowed to spread in a metropolitan like Arare. And as public health experts, we, we are not allowed to stop people moving. We can try as much as possible to control the disease as they move. But they are carrying typhoid and it's resistant to the, to the non-drugs. So, but I'm, I'm just saying that as people travel, they also move with some of the diseases and spread them. And uh, we have a mechanism that allows our colleagues at the sub-national level to detect those diseases and uh, respond effectively. And this is what what happened. We saw in our in National and West Province, for example, Chidamoyo, National and East, there were a lot of alerts and response mechanisms in place. So that's our national rapid response mechanism. But I'm also saying, even as people go for the holidays, sometimes, you know, all diseases spread, including sexually transmitted inf infections. Uh, we also experience a, an upsurge of ac accidents on the roads. So it's just a matter of people taking, you know, charge of their lives, of their health as much as possible, and adopting the safe behavior so that we maintain health even as we welcome the, the rains. The rains are very welcome. They allow us to do our crops and to get nourished but they also bring mixing of some of the waters uh, where the wells are not protected. You get water from the blade well is entering the, you know, the, the unprotected wells. So we still encourage people to maintain their health behaviors so that they are safe. Wash your hands, make sure the food that you are eating is safe. If it's fruit or salads, they must be washed in safe water.